Yeah, hi, I'm Lars Braben. I'm a, a, a lecturer in geography. I specialise in geographical information systems and remote sensing. Yeah, this is quite an exciting project. It's um, working with the Waikato Regional Council. Um, they have a task of um, protecting the indigenous vegetation in the region and uh, at the moment they're, they've been identifying the, the indigenous vegetation using manual processes um, using aerial photography and they want to know whether we can try and automate it using image analysis techniques. Yeah, so the, the Waikato Regional Council, uh, every five years they, they capture imagery of the whole region and in their latest capture, which is called RAPS3, they've um, used digital technology. And in this case they've not only captured the, the visual bands, which are the, the red, blue and green, which is what we see as, as humans, they've also captured non-visual bands like the near infrared and this helps us um, identify the vegetation uh, better. It, it's better than what we can do with the naked eye because we can this additional information. And um, yeah, what we do is we train the computer to um, identify different types of vegetation. We sort of look what we call for as a, a spectral classification. So we're dealing with uh, spectral information and we, we're classifying it we're looking for sort of unique um, spectral signatures for different types of plants. This will identify where the indigenous forest is. It gives an idea of um, what needs to be protected. So it's about prioritising um, perhaps where areas should be fenced off, um, where the waterways are being contaminated and so on. So it's, I guess it's working, um, the regional council is working with farmers and it just needs to have good information. This is all about producing quality information so that good decisions can be made.